I think that's long enough. Well, hello again and welcome back to my channel. Four months ago, I set up an experiment looking at the feasibility of epoxy resin being suitable for use in outdoor projects. The actual idea I had was to use it for house numbers set into wood, which could be done in different colors or even glow in the dark possibilities. Now, it has been an interesting four months following the progress of this experiment. And I just thought I'd take a minute to talk you through the actual experiment itself. One or two additions that I made before I show you the results. Now, I think it's fair to say the setup for this experiment was pretty brutal, I'm going to say. The actual wood itself that I chose to use was beech. Now, I know beech isn't really a suitable uh, wood for certain outdoor projects but what I wanted to do was I wanted to see the relationship between the wood and the resin and actually a wood that might not be ideal uh, for outdoor projects might have a quickening effect shall we say as opposed to some other more suitable wood products so the product itself the wood was solid beach and I had CNC'd in um, the number four across five which then became seven a week later which I'll explain in a minute the actual resin used was glass cast three with a solid green pigment to it and the products we used to protect the wood and the resin were as follows we had some outdoor varnish we had some heidelberg pro lignum internal hard wax oil we had some roxil wood protection liquid I actually used a layer of glass cast three over the top of one of them. And what else did we have? Oh, we actually, for a control, I just polished one up without putting any finish on at all. And then thanks to Mandy and Ed, two of my subscribers, who got in touch and said they would have liked to have seen two other products in it. So a week later, I had to hand route two number fours. So no laughing too much later on when you see the result of those. Uh, and we added to it some Osmo UV protection oil and also some yacht varnish. Now it was in a south facing garden and the OSB that they were all screwed to was at an angle, you know, probably about 40 degrees or something like that. So the rain itself wasn't just running off it. It was always running down the wood again to kind of quicken up the effect of an outdoor environment. We've also had sun up to a around about 28 29 degrees in the height of summer and if you can hear the rain outside as well we've had monsoon like conditions along with some of the sunshine so we've had a real mixed bag of weather which was perfect for an experiment like this so now it's time to give the results which i will do in reverse order Well, the control piece was always going to be an interesting part of the experiment because if you remember all I did once the resin had fully cured was just sand it down and then polish it up a plain no finish whatsoever. Now you do get some folks saying well it's going to be outdoors, wood grows outdoors, why would I need to apply a finish on anything? Well I'll show you why because after four months it looks like this. Now you can see uh, quite a substantial bit that was straight at the start of it. It managed to shear a torque screw completely by the warping or the cupping, sorry. And then if we look closer at the resin, you can see cracks there and here, obviously as a result of the movement of the wood. So the control piece is interesting in itself that you need to do something about protecting the wood and the resin. So this one, number seven. In at number six, pot pickers, we have the Roxil wood protection liquid. Now, just to clarify before I show you any of the other results, any wood treatments, I gave two coats to the beach and the resin. I know a lot of folk out there will give multiple more coats than two, but I thought for the pur purposes of controlling the experiment, two coats for each. And the Roxil wood protection liquid did not fare very well at all. 
okay in terms of protecting the wood however if i get up close the resin itself is not in too bad a condition there are a few minor scuffs minor scratches and tears i'll say at the bottom and you can see one starting to appear at the top there but again if you look at the wood the cup in there the movement probably with the wood has resulted in damage to the resin so roxil wood protection in at number six not suitable for resin and wood outdoor projects Number five is an interesting one because it is the Heidelberg Pro Lignum Hard Wax Oil, which again, as I said earlier, is an internal finish, not designed for exterior use. However, it has furred actually quite well. The beach, the marks on the wood obviously is not great, but if you look, the wood itself has remained relatively straight. A few little bits of cup in there, but the actual resin, is completely fine and intact there is no damage to the resin at all but it wasn't sufficient enough to protect the wood so much better obviously than the control piece and the roxil wood protection liquid which is designed for outdoor use but number five for the heidelberg pro lignum Number four is very interesting indeed because this is a very thin layer of glass cast three applied over the top of the beach and the resin itself and it came out like this. Now I need to explain something a little bit with this one because at the top there was, it was slightly covered in resin the way I've made the mold and that has secured itself fine as you can see little bit again cup in there but I didn't seal the bottom with the resin and you can see it's got in underneath and it's separated at the end there see that okay and it's obviously seeped up and into the wood again the number four itself is perfectly fine all right but I think long term there's no way that would have um that would have been suitable unless you covered all of the wood in resin back sides and front but i'm not sure how that would fur with the climatic changes so whether the move whether it would hold the wood in place or whether the movements of the wood i mean there's a little bit there but whether the movements of the wood would lead to cracking in the resin so that is in at number four for the glass cast three Into the top three now, and no surprises really, as they are purposefully designed for outdoor use. And number three is the Ron Seal Outdoor Varnish. And here it is. Now, as you can see, the wood hasn't furred fantastically well. It's done okay. It is still reasonably straight. Certainly a lot straighter than the other ones up till now. But the resin, again, is held up really well. There is a crack in the top of the wood appearing and if you can see it's starting to split the resin there so long term that wouldn't be ideal but actually it's done a pretty good job in rather brutal conditions so number three for the ron seal outdoor varnish And we are into the final two, which were actually the requests or recommendations from my subscribers. Now, Ed got in touch with me and asked, would I consider using yacht varnish as part of the experiment? So I went and got a little tub of the stuff. And unfortunately, I didn't have access to my friend's CNC machine. So I had to take my palm router out and a stencil and cut out another two number fours, which to, in reflection, I won't be doing again for everybody else's health and my own safety. Anyway, here is the result. Please ignore the number four design, but the actual finish, apart from a little bit of marking on the wood, 
has come out pretty well. It's held its structure and shape well and the relationship between the resin and the wood is very good. There is a slight separation starting to appear at the very top which is only very minor but that has come out second best. All right, so there we have it. And that one was the Ron Seal Yacht Varnish. Which brings us to our winner. Now, I recently joined a Facebook group called Woodworking UK and everybody's favorite finish in that group appears to be anything related to Osmo. And this one I used, which was Osmo UV Protection Oil Clear Satin. And to be honest, although it is expensive, it was head and shoulders the winner above all the other entries. Now, apart from again, a tiny little bit of marking on the wood, the structure is completely and utterly solid. It is not cupped, warped or distorted in any way. And the relationship between the wood and the resin is perfect. There is no sign of any splits, cracks, deformities or any other problems for that matter so that one there out of all seven was a clear winner and that again was the osmo uv protection oil so just to conclude really this has been a very interesting experiment on many levels not just to see whether resin suitable for outdoor projects but the relationship between resin and wood, but also the wood treatments and how different wood treatments can have such a different effect on the exact same pieces of wood in the exact same climatic situations. To conclude, do I think epoxy resin is suitable for outdoor projects? Yes, I do. But there are a few factors you're gonna to need to consider. Firstly, the suitability of the wood that you're using. And I'd certainly do some research on the specific types of hardwoods that will be suitable for the likes of say a house number or a bar top or whatever it is you're planning to do with it secondly the resin itself i don't see any issues in terms of if you put a solid colored pigment in there has been talk i've read a little bit online about the um, resin going dull or yellowing um, which obviously you can't see with a green pigment in and i don't see that being an issue long term with these but again it's something that you may need to consider if you put in a clear resin uh, application onto. And finally, the actual wood treatments. Um, it's clear the winner on this one was the Osmo uh, UV oil, uh, which I certainly would recommend if you consider doing this, and certainly recommend more than two coats, okay? The, the experiment was two coats for all of them. You're probably gonna be looking at four coats if you want to do something along these lines. So brilliant, uh, interesting experiment, as I say, four months, well worth it. I do believe that because there is very little, if any information out there about this type of stuff going on, particularly on YouTube. I couldn't find anything about it. So I hope you found this useful. As ever, everyone, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much.